Good morning everyone, this is group 2 of grade 12 ICT Larry Pitch and this is our video presentation. Before we start to identify and classify the various contemporary art forms and their practices from the various regions, first, what is contemporary art? Contemporary art is the art that springs out of the present day events and passions of the society. Many people thought that the arts that is made in the present day society are called modern art, but in fact it is actually contemporary art. It is the newest form of art amusing people from the late 60s and 70s up to this very minute. It functions in a global society that is culturally diverse and technology oriented. It is an art where the audience plays an active role in reacting and constructing meaning about the work of art. Now that we know what is contemporary art, what are the contemporary art forms? The first one is choreography. It is an arrangement or design for dance movements usually accompanied by music. It is mostly seen in the productions of street dancing in various festivals. And through technology, choreography has been innovated by the 21st century folks. The second contemporary art form is the musical instruments. Musical instruments are any tool that produces sound. Instruments nowadays are not only used to produce music or sound, but many artists also show their creativity in designing their own instruments. Not just that, a musical instrument can be combined with another instrument to make music that we never heard before. Such is the beauty of musical instruments. The third one is literary and musical composition. Literary composition are written works meant to be read like poets, stories, and many more. While musical compositions, on the other hand, are not written but notated. The fourth one is the visual designs and applied arts combined. It is a composition or layout of any art element. Its purpose is not only to amuse the audience but also to let them enjoy its function as a product of art. Examples of this are paintings, sculpture, calligraphy, and many more. The fourth one is theatrical performance. It is an experimental, innovative, controversial, and interdisciplinary going beyond other disciplines like psychology, social, and political sciences. The last one is cinema. It is the most popular of the art forms, yet it is the youngest of all. Its characteristics are the same with theater except it is not a live performance. There are seven major contemporary art forms in the Philippines. These are architectures, sculpture, music, literature, theater, film, and dance. As I've already talked about literature, music, film or cinema, and dance or choreography, I won't be talking much about their definitions, but I will be talking about architecture and sculptures and the examples of the well-known contemporary arts that are found in the Philippines. So what is architecture? Architecture is an art that relies on the design and purpose of the structure. During the contemporary era, architecture embodies the country's history while looking towards the region's future. Sculpture, on the other hand, are three-dimensional artworks that may be created using stone, marble, wood, and concrete. It is the most familiar art amongst Filipinos. These two contemporary art forms are included in the visual designs and applied arts combined. Now that we know what are the seven major contemporary art forms in the Philippines, here are some examples of the well-known contemporary arts in the Philippines in their respective fields. In the architecture fields, some examples are UPLB Public Library designed by Leandro Loxin, Far Eastern University, designed by Pablo S. Antonio, and the Quiapo Church in Manila by Juan Nakpil. In the sculptural field, some examples are Picasso and Me by Julie Locke, Sari Manok by Abdul Marie Asia, Ai Weiwei by Charlie Coe. In the music field, some examples are Piano Trio by Dr. Adolfo Cornejo, Tanikala by Chino Toledo. In the literature field, some examples are Aban Nakakabasa Pala Ako by Bob Ong, Dekada 70 by Lualti Bautista. In the theater field, 
Some examples are Rock of Ages, Ang Huling El Bimbo. In the film or cinema field, some examples are Four Sisters in a Wedding by Cathy Garcia Molinad in 2013 and Mara Osab by Brillante Mendoza in 2016. And lastly, in the dance or choreography field, some examples are the Sinulog Festival and the Kadayawan Festival. In conclusion, contemporary art is the embodiment of our modern society today. It allows us to broaden our understanding of ourselves, our community, and the world. It helps us connect with each other through the work of art, and that is the beauty of contemporary art.